Hi everybody, my name is Morgan Martin and I'm currently a McAuliffe Middle School Law Cell at Home teacher for seventh grade science. Uh, I have my experience in biology and health science. My name is Matt Maya. I teach seventh grade science at Oak Middle School and I also love to teach chemistry. So Matt, besides teaching science, what else do you like to do? Um, my favorite thing to do in my free time is to yell cannonball and jump at the pools with my clothes on. Hmm, interesting. What about you? Oh, I like to ride my unicycle all around the neighborhood. Helmet or no helmet? Oh, helmet for sure. Okay, Gotta good. protect the good, cranium. Good, good, good. We've created this video series as a guide to help you as you work on your project. Video one, this one, will include information on how to help you choose what kind of project you should complete. Videos two and three will walk you through how to participate in either of the pathways using our templates. And finally, video four will show you how to submit your project once you are complete. We're really excited that you'll be participating in this year's virtual STEAM Fair. This is an amazing opportunity for you to explore a topic that you are interested in learning more about. Participants will be submitting their project in the middle school category grades 6 through 8 or high school category grades 9 through 12. This year's STEAM Fair contest will be broken up into two rounds. Round one, students will compete in either a science experiment or engineering design project individually or with a group over the course of about five weeks. Round two, the top projects will advance into the finals where students will present their projects in a Shark Tank style meeting with the judges. This brings us to our next exciting bit of news. We are happy to announce that this year, LAFE will be presenting cash prizes to our top three projects in our middle school and high school categories. The grand prize for each age group will be $500, five big ones. Second place prize is 250 and third place prize is 125. It's important to remember that there will be a first, second, and third place for middle school projects, as well as a first, second, and third place for the high school projects. Winning projects that are competed by groups will have to split their prize money. All right, now it's time to talk about how to decide between experimental design and engineering design projects. Choosing a project can be challenging. No matter what type of project you do, pick a topic that you're interested in. You'll be spending a lot of time on this topic and it'll be way more fun if it's something that you care about. If you choose to do a science project, you'll be doing an experiment to learn more about something. Make observations about the world around you. What are some things you notice? What questions do you have? Record these ideas on paper and use them to find a topic that you're interested in and develop a question that you can collect data to answer. If you choose to do an engineering project, you'll be designing a solution to a problem. What are some problems that you could work to solve? What are your ideas for solving them? Record these ideas on paper and use them to identify a problem that you'd like to design a solution for. Just remember, scientists seek answers to questions and engineers provide solutions to problems. So how do you choose your topic? Projects should be experiments or engineering projects. Demonstrations and reports are not suitable for a STEAM fair. There are some topics we'd really love to see more of. For example, anything related to climate change, like human impact, minimizing the human footprint, preserving our natural resources, those are things we'd love to see you look into. Computer science projects are amazing. We'd love to see you code and do robotics, all sorts of fun stuff. We'd also love more mathematical application and mathematical modeling projects, and any engineering projects that address problems that do not already have a solution. Who knows, you might have the next greatest thing. There are also a lot of topics that we see a lot of, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, how many years have we been doing this? Year after year. Year after year. And some years it's the same experiments over and over. So we'd really like to avoid the following topics. The effects of music or talking or special lights on how plants grow. Kind of seen that a lot. The effects of cola or coffee on teeth decaying. Effects of uh, running or jumping or video games on blood pressure effects of music or video games or sleep and how you perform on a test. We've seen all these. We'd also really like to avoid the which brand is best experiments. Most of you have done this in an intro science class. We would really like to avoid kit based projects. So if you're just thinking of buying something on Amazon and making it and then talking about it, eh, not this year. We'd also like to avoid experiments that test how magnets work, things like growing bacteria in Petri dishes, types of insulation effectiveness, as many of you guys have done this in your classes. 
Finally, please don't submit projects based on Coke and Mentos. We love doing that, but not for this. And slime, mm -mm. we've seen enough slime to last a lifetime. All right. All right, so by the end of this project, you'll be submitting your entry on a Google form on the LAIF website. In the Google form, you must provide the following. The Google slideshow, the templates will be provided to you by us, detailing each step of the project. You'll also be submitting a Flipgrid video submission link, and the judging rubric provides detail for each component of the project that you'll be completing. If you are working in a pair or a small group, you'll only submit one Google form for the entire team. We've created a timeline for completing the project that should keep you on track to finish by the deadline. Here are some really important dates. April 1st, this is when we're kicking off the Steam Fair. All of our videos like this one are gonna go live. By April 5th, you really should have your experimental question or the problem you need to solve finalized. April 10th, scientists finish designing your experiment with the materials and the procedure and have all materials ready to go. Engineers, by April 10th, you should have your finalized prototype of your design solution. April 30th, you need to have finished collecting your data, finished testing your solutions, and be analyzing the results and drawing conclusions. All right, so after that, on May 10th, this is the deadline to submit your entries. Your entries must include both the Google Slides and the Flipgrid video to be considered for the cash prizes. Results will be posted by May 17th. After that, May 24th, finalists will compete in a Shark Tank style competition, presenting their projects in front of a panel of judges. And on May 28th, the winners will be announced for this competition. Are you ready to compete? Thank you so much for joining us today and learning about the STEAM competition. If you are ready to get started, you're gonna check out videos two and three. Video two is gonna tell you how to do the science experiment, and video three is gonna be for those of you who want to take on an engineering design challenge. We look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.